Now move on question number 71. Let A and B be two invertible matrices of order 3 cross 3 if determinant of adjoint of AB is equal to 36 and determinant of B into adjoint of A is 12. Then 3 by A determinant of B inverse A into A transpose is equal to. So determinant of adjoint of AB is equal to 36 and according to question A and B both are 3 by 3 order. So we know the property determinant of adjoint of A that is equal to determinant of A n minus 1 where n is order of square matrix. So here A B to whole power 3 minus 1 that is 2 is equal to 36. So determinant of A B is equal to 6. So determinant of A multiply determinant of B is equal to 6 equation number 1. By using this expression this is determinant of B and adjoint of A is equal to 12. So from here, determinant of B into determinant of adjoint of A is equal to 12. So determinant of B into so adjoint of A that is determinant of A square is equal to 12. Equation number 2. By using equation number 1 and 2, you can see determinant of A is 2 and determinant of B is your 3. So according to equation 3 by 8, Determinant of B inverse A into A transpose is equal to 3 by 8. Determinant of B inverse into determinant of A into determinant of A transpose. And we know determinant of A is equal to determinant of A transpose. And determinant of B inverse is equal to 1 upon determinant of B. So just put the values here. 3 by 8 into 1 upon determinant of B. This is 1 by 3. Multiply determinant of A which is 2 and determinant of A again 2. So you are getting 1 by 2 which is equal to 0 0.50. So correct answer is 0 0.50. Now move on next question. Question number 72. The value of sine summation from n equal to 1 to 20 cot inverse n square minus n plus 1 is k divided by root over 401 then k equals. So first of all we have to calculate this thing. So see cot inverse n square minus n plus 1. So you can write n square minus n plus 1 as 1 plus n times n minus 1. So this is n times n minus 1 plus 1 divided by n minus of n minus 1 which is equal to cot inverse n minus 1 minus cot inverse of n. So just calculate summation from n equal to 1 to 20 cot inverse of n minus 1 minus cot inverse of n. Just substitute value from 1 to 20. So for n equal to 1 cot inverse of 0. Cot inverse 0 is pi by 2 minus cot inverse 1 plus cot inverse 2 minus 1 that is also 1 minus cot inverse 2. Similarly, this is cot inverse 2 minus cot inverse 3 and so on. Last is cot inverse 19 minus cot inverse 20. So see, in this bracket, first value is going to be cancelled. In this bracket, similarly, first value is going to be cancelled. So in last bracket, first value is going to be cancelled. So you are left with pi by 2 minus cot inverse 20 which is equal to 10 inverse 20. So now question is asking value of sine 10 inverse 20 which is equal to you can take 10 inverse 20 as theta. So 10 inverse 20 as theta. So 10 theta is 20. This is suppose theta. So this is 20. This is 1. So this value is 401. So here you need the value of sine theta which is equal to 20 divided by root over 401. So according to question this value is equal to k divided by root over 401. So k is equal to 20. So answer is 20.00. I hope you understand this question. Now move on next question. Question number 73. The area of quadrilateral ABCD with a, B, C, D is A, then A square upon 10 is equals. So we need to find the area of triangle A, B, C and A, C, D. So for uh, area of 
triangle ABC is equal to 1 by 2 AB vector cross AC vector. Now, AB vector is equal to 2I cap plus J cap minus 4K cap. AC vector is equal to 4I cap plus 4J cap minus 12K cap. So, just calculate where 1 by 2 AB vector I, J, K. This is 2, 1, minus 4 and AC vector. This is 4, 4, minus 12. So, just take 4 as common. So, you are getting 1, 1, minus 3. Just calculate it. This is 2 times I cap 1 minus J cap minus 2 plus K cap 1. So, which is equal to 2 times I cap plus 2J cap plus k cap so 2 times root over modulus of i cap plus 2 j cap plus k cap is 6 so area of triangle abc is 2 root 6 units similarly find out the area of triangle acd so which is equal to 1 by 2 ac vector cross ad vector so we need ad vector ad vector is equal to j cap minus 2k cap which is equal to 1 by 2 i cap j cap k cap ac vector is 4 4 minus 12 and a d vector is 0 1 minus 2 similarly just take the common 4 from this row so 2 times i cap j cap k cap 1 1 minus 3 0 1 minus 2 is equal to 2 times i cap 1 minus j cap minus 2 plus k cap 1. So, this is equal to 2 times modulus of i cap plus 2 j cap plus k cap. So, which is equal to 2 root to a 6. So, area of quadrilateral ABCD is equal to 2 root 6 plus 2 root 6. That is equal to 4 root 6. And now, this is equal to A. And question is asking A square by 10. So, A square is equal to 4 into 4 into 6 divided by 10, which is equal to 96 by 10, which is equal to 0, 9.60. So, correct answer is 9.60. Now, move on next question. Question number 74. Let 1 plus x plus x square to whole power 10 is equal to a r x r. R is going from 0 to 20. Then the value of 2 times a 0 plus a 1 up to a 9 plus a 10 is 1 upon 3 to the power k. Then k equals. Just expand it. This is 1 plus x plus x square to whole power 10 is equal to a 0 x to the power 0 plus a 1 x plus a 2 x square plus a 3 x cube dot 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 up to a 20 x to the power 20. Now, just replace x by 1 by x. So, 1 plus 1 by x plus 1 upon x square to whole power 10 is equal to a naught plus a 1 upon x plus a 2 upon x square plus a 3 upon x cube and so on up to a 20 x divided by x to the power 20. Just take LCM on both sides. So, you will get here x square plus x plus 1 to whole power 10 divided by x to the power 20 and in RHS part you will get in denominator x to the power 20. So, this is equal to a naught x to the power 20 plus a 1 x to the power 19 plus a 2 x to the power 18 plus a 3 x to the power 17 and so on last term is a20 so by using question number one and two you can see very easily this part is same so coefficient of x to the power zero is a naught here and here coefficient of x to the power zero is a20 so a naught is equal to a20 and coefficient of x to the power one is a1 and here Coefficient of x to the power 1 is a19. So, a1 is equal to a19. And last you can see coefficient of x to the power 20 is a20. And in this equation, coefficient of x to the power 20 is a0. So, a2 is equal to a18. And similarly, a20 is equal to a0. So, just substitute 
x equal to 1 in your first equation. So, you will get 1 plus 1 plus 1 to the power 10 is equal to a0 plus a1 plus a2 up to a18 plus a19 plus a20. So, see this is 3 to the power 10 is equal to a0 and a20 both are equal. So, 2 times a0 plus a1 plus a2 c in middle term is your a10 and here a9 and here a11. So, a9 and a11 both are equal. So, plus a9 and a10 is getting only one time so just add here a10 so see question is asking two times value of this thing so value of this is equal to 3 to the power 10 according to question its value is 1 upon 3 to the power k so k is equal to minus 10 so answer of this question is minus 10.00 now move on last question question number 75 a straight line l with negative slope passes through the point 4 comma 1 and intersects the x-axis and y-axis at points A and B respectively, the absolute minimum value of OA plus OB is. So, just take slope of line is M, which is negative according to equation, negative slope. So, equation of line is y minus 1 is equal to M times x minus 4. Now, this line is intersecting x-axis at point A. So, coordinate of A is where y is 0, minus 1 by m plus 4. And this line cuts the y-axis at point B. So, coordinate of B where x is 0, minus 4m plus 1. Now, question is asking absolute minimum value of OA plus OB, which is equal to 4 minus 1 by m plus 1 minus 4m. So, we need to find out the value of minus 1 by m minus 4m, absolute minimum value. So, see minus 4m which is positive because m is negative and minus 1 by m which is also positive. So, we can apply am gm inequality. So, minus 4m minus 1 by m divide by 2 is greater than or equal to minus 4m multiply with minus 1 by m to whole power 1 by 2. So, minus 4m minus 1 by m is greater than or equal to 2 times which is equal to also 2. So, minimum value of this part is 4. So, getting absolute minimum value of OA plus OB is 5 plus 4 which is equal to 9. So, absolute minimum value of OA plus OB is 09.00. I hope you understand all the questions very well. Thanks for watching.